Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade out. So we have a fade in here and as you can see, we have uh, two of these so I'm just going to go ahead and delete one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete both here and that way you can see that we don't have that fade in. So let's go ahead and let's make a fade out. Well, this is pretty easy. We're just going to call it fade out and there we go and we're going to add in a fade track and we're going to key in the zero here and then we're also going to move this all the way up to the end and then there we go okay and so all this means here is that um oh by the way you do need to make this one there we go and, and one thing that i find that's interesting is that you know you can see the gradient go up here okay and there we go so if we go ahead and um you know, we, we go ahead and we add this to our scene here. Um, for instance, kind of hop out of this here and just simply drag that in here. And if we put autoplay here, we can play it. And well, it's, there you go. Fades out. Okay, there we go. So there's a couple other things that we should probably do. Let's hop back into this sequencer here and we'll just kind of move this here is you'd probably wouldn't want to you know fade out right away you would want to kind of you know trigger that well let's go ahead and let's do exactly that let's add in a box trigger here and i suppose it doesn't really matter you know how big this is we'll just kind of make it so big and let's add in the blueprint script here and we'll just call it the box trigger blueprint for now and in this box trigger blueprint, uh, when we begin the overlap with another actor, and let's make it the specific third person character, because we want to deal with that here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to play, um, uh, we need to play this cinematic here. So, uh, for example, we need to play this, um, this level sequence here, and it's fairly easy to do. And this is actually really easy to do. All we're going to do is we're going to go to play, um, or actually it's create level. Or, um, level. It's actually it's not from there. It's level sequence. Create level sequence. There, you don't have to drag it out of the character. There, um, getting ahead of myself here. And all we need to do out of here is just push play. And there's actually a bunch of different uh, options you can do here. Um, but basically we just want play. Which asset do we want to play? We want to play fade out. So I think this actually works out really well. Let's go ahead and do that here. And, you know, it does work, but there's a bit of a problem and I'm going to show you what that problem is. Okay, so first things first is that uh, the player is still active. Okay, um, and second is that the fade out kind of just uh, it fades up to black and doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead, let's hop back in here and hop back into the sequencer. First of all, it was a bit too much here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, bring this level sequence up and the fade is going to be a lot quicker here, okay? And I'm also going to extend the timeout uh, a, a bit here. Um, and basically, so that will uh, allow us to just essentially... Uh, fade out a little bit more and then if we need to do anything else like add in a, a display or something we can go ahead and do that but for the most part um, I'm just going to move this along here there we go and that's basically so it's going to be a lot quicker okay and then once we do that here um, we're going to drag out of this third person here so we're going to disable input Okay, and then we're just going to drag that out here. Okay, so if we do that here, boom, fade out. And there we go. That's it. Okay, so that concludes the tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial.